something like that anyway. Hello everyone, um, okay, gonna do another suede lesson today and we're gonna look at Trash, probably one of my favorite suede songs. Um, so yeah, lots of jangly cool stuff going on. Um, let's get into it. Right, so first off, I'm just gonna show you the basic chords of the song first. So it basically consists of, on the verses, it's a C, down to E minor, to an F, major seven, I think it is, to a D. They're, they're the main chords of the verse, and then the chorus is C, to G minor, G there, but we'll be doing something else when that happens. Okay, so they're the basic chords. Now on the verse, it starts with, uh, if you imagine you've got, that's a C, so imagine you've got your, your, your power chord version of a C. It's basically, the, it's like an A chord, but there. So that's your first chord you're gonna hit when it kicks in. That's your first bit, okay? So fifth fret, bar the D, G, and B string. Add the B on the sixth, and put it off. So you go. And you strum the C there, so it sort of jumps. And then you go. So you Do a C chord. Then go to E minor. Same sort of rhythm. Pick through it, come down, E minor. I put the little finger there and do the. Then that pull off again. Just so, major seven. Add the little finger underneath. And then it does a slightly different rhythm. He goes. So from that, if you imagine the F major seven, you're doing those three notes. You've got your D string on the third fret, G string on the second fret, B string on the first fret. And then you add the little finger on the E and then you roll the first finger onto the onto the first note of the e, high E string. And you sort of pick through it. So I just put it all together. Slides up to here, keep that D shape because you can do the same shape there, and then just bend that G but hold down the B. This finger's not important, you can. Got that. So that's the verse. Then we've got the chorus. Right, so the chorus um, just starts with a with a C chord. And you can either strum or pick your A or pick your A through it. And it just goes. So it's uh, a C chord, bend on the third, pull off, but it sort of pushes into that G minor chord. Okay, 
okay, so if you measure your G minor, it would normally be like that, yeah? But we're just doing that note and barring those two, the, the, the uh, G and the B. And you're picking, and then you pull off your little finger on that B string on the fifth fret. So, so yeah, so coming out of that, push as you go into that G minor. again and then you do a D shape up here slide into that pick through it and then all you're doing is you're, you're singling out each note of this chord you go but you bend the first one and then you go up to here That's the movement, you don't do it that many times because you very quickly get interrupted by the... Okay, so I'll try and play up to speed. Um, I haven't completely got this down myself. I literally figure this stuff out and then switch the camera on. So um, forgive me if it's, if it's a bit rusty. second time around he does the same thing again goes all the way around again but when you get to this part he does it slightly differently and he does this and all that is is just so sorry I haven't explained this one yet have I? <laughs> so this is just um, uh, seven eighth fret on the E string ninth fret on the B and tenth fret on the G and you just pick those three strings add the little finger on the 11th down to the 10th. And then mute all the strings and just hit that G string on the second fret. Then we go around again, do the whole sequence again, and then we do this one. Okay, and that's just 12, 13, sorry, 13 on the G and 13 on the B. Yes, yeah, so you've got two fingers on the same fret, and then you slide in this first finger from the 10th to the 11th. And then you go back to the, to the verse. Okay, I'm hoping this is making sense. <laughs> then we've got the little guitar solo, which, um, if you know your cage system, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into theory, okay. So, um, yeah, he does this shape. So you go in eighth fret, bar in the G, B and E, and add the ninth fret on the G. And then you add that finger on the tenth fret, and, he, and he's got a tremor arm going off as well. So he's like, and then down to, so that's just a D shape, yeah. So bar, add that finger there. Okay, so they're the shapes, you've got that, add that finger, D, add the finger, D, and then he goes, slides up, 
goes up to the 14th fret. Then it's 13, 13 on the, on the B and the E. And then bend the 15th fret. Then stagger it down. 13, 12 on the E, and then 15 on the B, and then 14 on the G, and then 11 and 10 on the G. Okay, I'll do that slowly. And then bend. And then he goes around again. Oh, sorry. So that on that time round, he just repeats that little movement. And then he slides up. So I'll do that. I'll do the whole solo again, so here we go. Okay, and that little last slide is from 14th to the 16th, and then 15 on the B and 15 on the E. You get them together, upstroke. And that, my friends, is Trash by Schwade. I'm hoping that made sense. Um, yeah. Good song to play once you get it down. It is a, it is a little fiddly number, though. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. Till next time. Cheers.